Hey y'all, Matt here from RetroOnly.com. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Sega Genesis Mini. We'll be doing a few different review reviews of the different mini consoles, the NES Classic, the SNES Classic, PlayStation Classic, and even the Atari Flashback over the next few weeks here on our channel. We want to start off with the Sega Genesis Mini. Since there's not as many reviews about this online, wanted to show you exactly what you get when you get one of these from either Amazon, eBay, even you know locally, wherever you purchase it from what you'll get inside the box, what games it comes with, and we'll even do some real play time and what exactly how you can walk through the console as well. So inside the box, when you first get it and you open it up, inside the box you'll see a few different things. The first thing you'll see is an HDMI cord, okay? Obviously you'll probably have most tons of these lying around, um, but you can go with that, and that comes with it as well. Then you also get the power cord, and then this one also does come with a box to plug into the wall, so that's helpful. Some of the other classic consoles come without the, the uh, little brick, so that makes it difficult if you already use all of yours you have to buy it separately, that's a little bit annoying. This one comes with it, so that's nice. And you also do get two controllers, and both of these are wired controllers as well for the Sega Genesis Mini. They look similar to the Sega Genesis controllers from back in the day, so they look pretty similar, except for the only difference, or one of the only differences is that it's got the USB plugging up to the mini console. And so you get two of those, again, they're wired, wired controllers, so they're not wireless. You can buy wireless ones on places like Amazon, which we'll have a link in the description below. Um, for those, but if you're okay with sitting close to it, you can just use the wired ones. And then inside the box, you also have the instruction manual, which honestly you really don't need. This thing is super simple to unbox, super simple to set up. And then the last thing you'll have inside is the actual console itself. So this is one of the smallest consoles um, of the classics that have come out. The NES Classic is, is a bit bigger, as is the SNES Classic. PlayStation Classic is as well bigger, and then the Atari Flashback is even bigger than that. So this is the smallest of all of the mini or retro consoles that the different companies have released. And of course, this is the latest one that Sega has put out as well. So we'll be covering all the different games. This one does come with 40 games plus two bonus titles. So there's actually 42 total games that you get. We'll cover each of those in more depth here in a minute when we jump into the TV. We'll go over each of the games that are included, maybe do a little bit of playtime on each one, how to get into them, save points, those sorts of things as well. But that is what comes inside the Sega Genesis mini box. So when you first plug in your Genesis Classic, this will be the first screen that will pop up. And so you just have to choose your language, assuming that you're in the US or where English is spoken, that's the one you'll choose. And this is the main menu that you'll come to. So these are all the different game options that you have. Let me turn the volume down a little bit here. And then you'll have across, all the way across, you'll have six different games. And then you just scroll down to go to the different ones that are all available. So as you'll notice, there's uh, all of them. The two bonus ones are these two here. That's Darius and the Tetris. Those are the last two bonus ones to equal the 42 total games. There's six in a row, so there's seven rows down total. So, and then you can, uh, you can sort up here in the right. You can sort by release date. You can sort A to Z. You can sort by genre. You can sort by number of players. So there's all those different options as well. So if, for example, you want to just go A to Z, that's what most people choose. Um, then you get used to that specific one or you can just go to genre if you're looking for a specific one. But again, there's only 42 games to scroll through, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, and so those are the different options that you can scroll through. And then you just once you go into a game, you just go through that, hold here, it tells you right at the right at the bottom there how you can save the game. So you can save it part way through, just like you can on the NES Classic or any of the other models. During gameplay, all you have to do is hold start to save, load or return to, ma return to the main menu. So we'll go ahead and go into a game here. Now if you notice on my flat panel here, it doesn't fill up the whole screen. And that's simply because of the age of the technology. So it'll have the little bars on the side. That's normal, it's supposed to do that. And you'll go into it, you can press start to skip the intro, and you can go into playing the game. You can do change your difficulty just like the original game was on the, um, on the Sega Genesis. So we're gonna just, go, just do practice. Go in here. As you'll notice, the graphics are pretty rudimentary, especially compared to what we're used to. Play, used to. So on this game, you're just gonna play like normal. Obviously you die like normal, it's just like all the games were on the Sega Genesis. Then you're gonna press start to pause. And then if you hold start, then this is how you can save. So I held start there, it paused first, then I held start and it went to the save menu. So then you're just gonna push the A button and it goes down to save one. Current progress will save, save one, go yes. And so now you've got a save point. Obviously you don't need to save at that point. And then you can just go right to the main menu. 
Okay, so after you saved it, you can go back to the main menu, start a different game, start all over, whatever. So that's super nice that on these you can actually save, just like you can on the NES Classic, the SNES Classic. You got all the different options available. So all of these games are available on here. Some of the most popular ones, Echo the Dolphin, of course, Castle of Illusion, Mickey Mouse is a super popular one for the Genesis. Castlevania is on here. Um, you get Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. All right, that's a fun one from back in the day. Of course, the, the main point of this console is the nostalgia that comes with it. And that's one of the best parts about it is that you get to play the games that you used to play as a kid or even as a young adult, if you have to depend on your age, um, when the Sega Genesis came out. So there's all sorts of fun games that are on here that you can play. Um, 40 is a little on the low side when compared to some of the other consoles. You, there are ways where you can add additional ones, additional games. We won't go into that on here. Um, but all of those options are available with the Sega Genesis. So we'll just um, go through. Uh, one thing I did, did want to mention, however, was about the cord. The cord for the Sega Genesis Mini is six foot long. So although it is a wired controller, it's not as bad as some of the old ones used to be where you'd have to play with extremely, extremely short cords. Um, you got six foot, so that's decent. You can put, you can put it up um, near the TV and sit a decent ways back. In my living room here where I'm recording at, I'm further away than the six foot mark. So that's gonna be difficult for me. But, you know, it's, it's really, um, it really just depends on how your setup is, which way you want to do it, whatever. So there what I did was I pressed pause multiple times. And then to get to go to this menu, you have to actually hold the start button. Okay, so it's not just press and then hold it. You have to hold it down. Um, and you can use this just to return to the main menu. Obviously, I don't need to save that. Um, but you can just use that to return to the main menu, which is the nice thing about the Genesis. You don't actually have to get up, push the button to reset to go back to the main menu. Um, and then you've got, of course, Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic Spinball. Um, Road Rash 2, it's a good one from back in the day, yeah. Um, and then you also get all of these others, some less well known than others, um, but they're all all pretty good. World of Illusion with Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, that's another classic as well. Virtual Fighter, um, so you get all of these different 40 games that are all available on here. Then the last thing I want to go over here is the settings. Um, and it just covers some general things. You can change the, le le the language, you can screen change your screen settings, wallpaper, legal notice, you can even reset it to factory settings if you prefer. So, uh, health warning. <laughs> um, but anyway, so those are all the things that you get on the actual console itself. And those are all the games. Like I said, super easy to set up. Basically, it's just plug it in and play. Um, there's nothing else required. Just switch on the button on the front. As long as you're on the HDMI input that you should be on, and then you're good to go. You can start playing your classic games. This has been Matt from RetroOnly.com. In the description, we'll link to some wireless controllers. If you don't like the hardwired one, six foot isn't long enough for you. And then we'll also link to this actual console as well that has the 42 games. It's currently available on Amazon. That's where I purchased mine from. So you can find it there as well.